Hey guys, welcome to Pellets and Pits. I'm Amy, I am not Neil. I am the voice behind the camera, Neil's wife. And today I'm making my first ever Thanksgiving turkey. Um, if you guys know us from the Flat Top King, you know that I do not cook whatsoever. Um, like less than 10 times in my life probably because Neil and I have been together since we were 16 and I've never had to learn how to cook. So we thought, if I can make a turkey and be successful at it, then you can too. So to start, we are going to work on boiling these ingredients, not this yet, for a brine um, so that it can cool down while I spatchcock my first turkey. So I've got four cups of water. I've got one cup of kosher salt half cup sugar, some bay leaves, black peppercorns, some thyme. I'm just gonna do like this. <laughs> it's all gonna boil together. And rosemary. I don't know if that does anything, but <laughs> maybe it'll help loosen up the oils. <laughs> We're gonna stir this together and then bring this to a boil. All right, so we're up to a boil. I'm just going to turn this off. And then we are going to add orange juice, which is going to help it cool down a little faster. Also got the low acid because since we've never done this before, I thought, you know, I was kind of worried about the acid in the orange juice, like messing with the bird while it brined. So I thought we'll get the low acid to try it out. Like I said, this is all my idea. I did all the shopping myself. <laughs> I mean, this is, <laughs> watch it be the best turkey we've ever had too. <laughs> okay. And then we're gonna add some cold water. And this whole recipe will be on pelletsandpits.com. Assuming it turns out amazing. <laughs> And that is gonna help cool down this brining liquid that we boiled to start with. So it just kind of saves us some time. And next, I'm gonna spatchcock my first turkey. <laughs> there she is. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> hey, if I act confident, you know. She or he? Uh, oh, is a turkey a male? No, there's female turkeys. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> oh god i'm not editing that out at all oh my god that's a jessica simpson moment <laughs> buffaloes don't have wings honey okay Re reset reset hey i feel like if you're confident in what you're doing, you know, that's half the battle. And I'm confident. So I've turned the turkey upside down. Here, my husband gave me a little behind the scenes tutorial. We're going to cut, I should cut on either side to um, cut it out completely. Yes, I'm, yes, you're gonna cut the backbone out. Now you said this is just going to be super easy. Just take the yep. scissors and just go right up the backbone. Yep. Okay. I'm confident. I think I'm doing good so far. <laughs> we'll get there. That's. Hey. You can do anything with a can-do attitude. So you can actually kind of rip it as you go. <laughs> That's probably not the correct culinary term. Can I give you a suggestion? Yeah. Try to Please. keep a lot of the bones and the meat in the back part of the scissors, not the front part of the scissors. You have a lot more pressure. Well, there, you gotta yeah. have strong hands to do that. <laughs> there you go. Now, can we just clarify something? What? You said this is the first turkey you've ever spatchcocked? Yes. 
first turkey I've ever cooked, first, probably the first raw turkey I've ever touched, uh, let's be honest. That's exactly what I was trying to hint at. Like, this might be the first turkey you've actually ever touched. Yeah, I don't do anything in the kitchen. On the Flat Top King, our other channel, they call me the microwave queen, which is actually which is actually being gracious because I really don't <laughs> cook anything in the microwave either. <laughs> okay, so what is this bone right here? Should I have cut that out? No, you're fine. That's good? Yeah, okay. you're fine. Look at that! But you have to do the same thing with the other side. Yeah, I know. Okay, next. Do you have any tips while you're doing that to... Get one of those hand grips, you know, <laughs> that they use in the gym <laughs> that you squeeze. <laughs> That's my first tip taking the back out when you take the back out should you do anything with the back yes you should save it for your turkey uh stock there you go or gravy <laughs> or gravy or yep however you do it yep yep so when we cook the turkey we'll actually smoke that backbone as well now if you wanted to just cut the backbone on one side could you or do people always take it out no, you definitely could. That might be easier. <laughs> that can-do attitude, honey. <laughs> hey, I'm doing great so far. Ta -da! There you go. That's awesome. Should I put it right here? Probably. Yeah. Just get it out of the way. Okay. Yeah. So now I flip it over? No, I just cut right here. You probably just need to score thing. the breastbone right in the middle. Okay. So yep. we're just going to go like this. Yep. Now, Neil told me this was the hardest part. Because you don't want to go all the way through. You just want to crack that breastplate. He also wouldn't let me use a bigger knife. <laughs> a big, look how big your knife is. <laughs> I don't even know if I have a bigger knife. Oh, You're not, I just crack it? You're not using my meat cleaver. Yes. Yeah, no, no, no. You're good. You're good. good. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, okay. that's good. So next, we just push on it. Okay. I would uh, I would flip it. Flip it. It's almost like giving your... It's almost like a chest compression for CPR. Like you really get your chest Which opened up. Either. Yep, go ahead and maneuver it. There you go. Okay. Yep. Yep. Now, since we've already put that little cut in the breastbone, it should yep. just... Yep. Yep. Here, here we go. Yep. Ha! <laughs> I did it, honey. I've done that wiggle a couple times. <laughs> there you go. That's perfect. Looky there. Looky there. And then we can kind of... Okay. So our turkey is spatchcocked. Okay, so our brine has cooled down, but just for good measure, I'm just gonna add just a handful of ice cubes, just so it's nice and cold. All right, next step, let's brine the turkey. So for my Thanksgiving turkey, I chose to do the cooler brine method because most people don't have that much space in their fridge on Thanksgiving to brine a turkey for 24 hours leading up to the big day. So the cooler is a great option because it gets the turkey out of your fridge 24 hours before Thanksgiving. So you can make room for pies and sides and all that. So these are brine bags. We've used them in the past. Um, we'll have a link in the description. Um, so what I'm gonna do is set this. Oh, nope, I'm not. I'm gonna add the ice first. I'm gonna add the ice, okay. We're just going to put the ice right in the bottom of the cooler like that. Let me use one disclaimer really quick. Depends on your geographical area. Yes. We plan on leaving this cooler on our porch overnight. It's in the, like the mid fifties yeah. and we feel it's confident. So but if you're in the South, like deep South and you're 80, 90 degrees still, you might need more ice in your cooler or a tip that we found as well is just bring it inside because most houses are 70 roughly degrees. And you and, can always add ice around the bag mm -hmm. like every few hours to yeah. make sure it's cold. So the most important thing is to make sure that for 24 hours for the full brining period that your turkey is 
the internal temp of your turkey is less than 40 degrees. But we've done this many, many times, and for us it works. Like Neil said, it's like 55 degrees here right now. So I've got the brine bag right there. I'm gonna take my expertly spatchcocked turkey <laughs> and try not to drip turkey juice everywhere. Just like that. Make sure it's in the bottom. All right, and we're gonna take our brine and we are going to pour it in. Oh, it smells good. And we're gonna hope that this is going to cover the turkey completely. You're just gonna let me deal with this problem by myself. How many times have you told me that this is your project and it I is. should butt out? <laughs> and now you get on to me for not helping you. Let's see, so we might have to manipulate this. I would definitely do what you mentioned. Flip the turkey over. That's what I do, yes. Okay, so let me get my gloves back on. All right, so you can see that our brine is not covering the turkey. So I am going to flip it over. this okay so you can see what we did we had to put the phone down so neil could help me he twisted the bag while i zipped it so you can tell that the turkey is all nice and covered we tilted the ice up and just for good measure we're gonna take this other bag of ice and just set it right on top just like that close her up and we will see you in 24 hours Okay, it is 24 hours later. It is time to, nope, hang on. The bunny distracted me. There's a bunny. <laughs> okay, it is 24 hours later. And before we get the turkey out of the brine, we're gonna make like an orange zest butter situation to kind of rub all over because I've seen people do that. So let's give it a try. So I have an orange. We're gonna zest this first. There's a lot of firsts for you today. I know, I don't think I've ever zested an orange. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we have our orange zest and I'm going to chop up some rosemary. So the people that don't know. We're pulling off the Because remember, this leaves. is for beginners. <laughs> That's a tree For trunk. For beginners, by beginner. <laughs> <laughs> if you can do it, they can do it. That is true. Truer words have never been spoken. We'll just throw that over there. <laughs> Where did you throw that? I just threw it on the deck. You can clean it up later. <laughs> I think people can, all we, across the country can say. <laughs> why, do we, why do we not have an outdoor trash can, by the way? <laughs> oh my gosh. One more time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. All right. And don't judge me by my knife skills. There you go. I bet this turkey's going to be so good. I have to be honest with you. I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> This is not what I told you to do when you asked me my opinion. This is all 100% you. I don't even remember what you told me to do. <laughs> what did you tell me to do? How are you going to season it? And the look on uh, your face was like... <gasps> I didn't even think about seasoning the turkey. I, that had, thought had not crossed my mind. But we're going to use shake that. I'm going to show you what we're going to do. Let's get this butter done first. And we're going to chop up some fresh thyme to go in that butter also. Okay, so we have the orange zest, the rosemary, the thyme, and I'm going to add some black pepper because our shake that is not really black pepper heavy and we like, you know, like a peppered turkey. So let's do a half, what is that? Let's do a half tablespoon. Then you wanna maybe show them that trick? 
well, you did that trick for me. So our butter was like rock hard out of the fridge. So Neil filled a little cup with hot water and then just stuck the butter in there. And now it is perfectly soft. After spatchcocking that turkey, I don't know that I have much strength left <laughs> to mash <laughs> butter. All right, and we're just going to mix this all together. All right, so here is what our quiller looks like 24 hours later. So you can see there's still full bags of ice in there. So the turkey is plenty cold. So let's get it out. You're gonna have to strong hold the legs. Okay. This is your turkey. You tell me not to intervene. <laughs> I would grab it by the legs and hold it upside down and let it drain in the bag for a few seconds. Look at that. Perfect. Okay. So first we're going to pat this sucker dry with some paper towels. Get all the nooks and crannies. Neil said that I could have let it dry overnight in the fridge like this, but in the past we have skipped that step and I feel like it still turned out great. So should I flip it over and dry the other side too or no? Nah. <laughs> you going to give me any hints? <laughs> I don't think it's fair for you to say this is my turkey butt out and then, <laughs> and then you ask me questions. for tips that's going to be edited out of the video. <laughs> you said that you've watched me cook plenty of times. I have. So I'm going to take these wing tips and fold them under like this. <laughs> it's your turkey, kid. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't seem like it folds this way. I think, I think this looks right. Just fold it underneath the, there you go. Just like that. Like that? Just like that. So that's what I did. The other one. I, I didn't say it was wrong. I'll let you keep going. Okay. And <clears throat> one thing that you have taught me also is that down here is the smallest part of the turkey breast. So I'm going to try to like position the thighs kind of so that it covers and protects the smallest part of the breast so that kind of is like another layer of protection from overcooking. Maybe. Okay, so the turkey's ready to be seasoned. So this is my thought. We are using our Shake That. We love it on chicken. We love it on steak. We love it on vegetables. We love it really on everything. Um, so I'm gonna season the whole turkey with this first. If you want a half seasoned bird. <laughs> so I need to put a glove on. I don't think I'm gonna be able to. I, I did all this work to get this perfect. <laughs> How many times have I told you presentation side last? <laughs> Because if you take the time to season this top side and then you turn it upside down, oh. then you just took all that time and ruined it and seasoning and everything else. So I probably See should. what you've uncovered. Oh, so I should have dried this side. Here, get me some paper towels real quick. I know there's going to be a lot of jokes made about how bad filming this is, but <laughs> this she is has life. her job and I have my job. <laughs> hey, this, this cooking is for the birds. But up. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh, have you been saving that? Oh. How many hours online did you look to come up with I that one? I literally just came up with that just now. Okay, so that's padded dry enough. I feel like I'm really on the downhill slope now. This is... Let's see if I can do this one-handed now. Okay, now we're going to season the top side. I'm on a roll now, honey. That confidence is back, you know? Good sized bird and turkey is pretty bland, so I'm not being afraid to season it. And also there's no salt in my butter mixture. Okay, turkey is seasoned up. Here's another tip brought to you by my husband to keep my butter from hardening up because it's six, about 60, 55 degrees out here. We've got just a cup of hot water, kind of like a double boiler type of system. So the butter is still nice and soft. I'm just gonna go ahead and just put all the butter out of the bowl because I'm about to get messy. 
That's to be honest with you, it does. It smells good. When you came up with this idea about dyed, like I'm typically not a butter bather. We're gonna give it a try. But you said. You don't know until you try. That's what cooking's all about, kid. Yep. Okay, so we got all the butter, and now my idea was just to kind of rub it all in. So that's what we're gonna do. Now the interesting thing is, I asked you. Did I think that it would make the seasoning come off? It is maybe making the seasoning come off a little. <laughs> so we're just gonna try to just pat it all in. <laughs> this maybe was not my finest moment. <laughs> I was doing great until this. Maybe should we melt the butter and use this as a basting and add this to the marmalade? <laughs> you said you see people do it. Look at that. Okay, so here's a lesson. Lesson learned. No more seasoning. <laughs> but, I mean, some people will say, well, now you season the butter. So if you can smear the butter on there, then it's like the idea of seasoning. I well, do not like, like doing this method because of exactly what you're experiencing. I've never found... And the butter doesn't really smear. I I 100% agree. So why do people do this? This know. is not a good idea. <laughs> not a good idea. I'd rather baste with it and then all that stuff. They think that it's self-based and all that stuff, but it, it doesn't penetrate the skin. It's just a personal preference. I just... I do not see it being worth my time or effort. But you do, so I'm going to let you struggle on this. Well, no. I'm going to go ahead and press stop, and we're then we're going to figure it out. We're going to redo this. No, we're Okay, so this is where we're at. I re-chopped my thyme and rosemary, re-zested another orange. So that we're saving, we're gonna put that to the side. We're gonna do it the way that I should have done it initially, which was listening to my husband, not some woman online. <laughs> 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 I will give you credit for that. So you can see now basically that- but Can you just explain, but- Okay, okay, it's not about somebody online. It's about the the, the process. I want the, I want to be clear. Seized up on I'm us. not better than other people, but this is what happens when somebody <laughs> sees something online and then try to do it themselves and it doesn't work. And then they get frustrated and they don't have trust in that person. That's not what we're trying to do. Yeah. What we're saying is this is reality. So just explain to them what I explained to you. Okay. So the bird is cold. We took a butter that was room temperature and was softened, and I started trying to smear it on the cold bird. It causes the butter to seize up, become hard, and it's really kind of impossible. So I know other people, like some people will actually lift the skin and tuck the butter underneath, but I would think that that would be difficult also based on what I just experienced. So we're gonna scrap the butter all together. I've got my fresh right here. We're going to melt some butter in this, have a whole new mix, and then I will baste with the butter as the turkey's cooking. So right now, I'm just going to season the part that is which in messed fact up. is the same theory. So the theory is you put butter around the turkey as it warms up, the butter bastes the turkey. I just find simply that the butter just runs off the turkey skin and there goes your seasoning as well. So most of the seasoning has been pulled up from the butter butter um, catastrophe. <laughs> there was and a so catastrophe. I just told her to reseason the bird like normal. That's up to her. She agreed. It's her bird. <laughs> I, well, I agree that what I was doing was not working. So that's. <laughs> hey, this is this is why we do these videos because I make mistakes, right? Neil makes everything look so easy, and I am not an advanced cooker. I don't have the culinary knowledge. Um, so I make mistakes and you all can learn from my mistakes. Which is why I want to emphasize about the butter problem. Other people make it look a lot easier. Could I spread yes. butter on a turkey? Yeah, but I mean, for somebody that's never done it before. And then I'm just going to do like a light coating of black pepper here. Looks like a good seasoned bird. It does. We're back on track, back on track. <laughs> You want to give them my, a time my, frame of how long it's taken? went down and now we're, now we're on the rise again. Uh, we've been out here about an hour <laughs> and a half. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get it on the smoker. No. Oh, thermometer, right? Yes. So we have our chef's temp thermometer here. I was just informed that there are extra probes on the back and that I probably want to use a smaller one. 
Let's see. I would probably use both, hun. Both? Yeah. One in each breast? Uh, I like the idea of one in dark meat, one in the breast. Okay. One in dark meat, so one in white thing, meat. So this one maybe will go in the breast, just kind of like stick it right here. I would go to the thickest part of the breast, and I would go in there. Because you got to remember, let's show them, on most of the thermometers, whether it be chef's temp or not, you've got a guide of a line, and it's got to reach past that line. So we're going to insert this pretty good. Okay. Yep. So right here looks good. And then like that? Go for it. Yeah, that's good. Okay. And then the other small one? There you go. Like that? I would. Okay. So what I would do, I would position your thighs a little bit more up. There you go. There you go. Because that goes back to the theory of protecting the small part of the breast. Okay. 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 <sighs> <laughs> I really thought today was going to be an easy day. Okay. It was besides the butter catastrophe. So I'm going to take off my gloves and then I'm going to move it to the smoker. You want to press... Yep, yep. And we'll tell them what we got going on here. Would you like to add super smoke? Yes. So I said let's smoke it at 225 on super smoke mode for one hour, and then we are going to bump up the temp to like 325 or 350, depending on how I'm feeling. <laughs> and we're going to go from there. So. Just like that. Close the lid, set a timer for one hour. It's on the downhill now. Okay, it has been one hour, so I'm gonna bump up the temp probably to 325. And, and let's take a peek. Looking good, looking good. Looking like I know what I'm doing. Okay, I took um, that orange zest. There's that backbone that we're smoking for stock. Yep. So I took the orange zest, the thyme and the rosemary that I had chopped up. I added one stick of butter and I just melted it in the microwave. And I'm going to just kind of baste it here. trying to be careful so I don't lose my seasoning. I guess it's really stuck pretty well now though, it seems like. I learned my lesson. See that orange zest in there and that butter? Whoo! Honey, this is gonna be good. And maybe I'll baste it in another like 20 minutes, maybe 30. Okay, so the turkey breast is about 150 right now, internal temp. I have a little bit of that butter um, that I've been basting with, just a little bit left over. Um, and I added about a third cup of this orange marmalade. So this is gonna be like my final, like orange burst of flavor, basting, like more of like a glaze. So I'm just gonna add that little bit of butter and all that flavorful goodness and with that marmalade we're gonna heat this up Ooh, it smells Ooh. good that rosemary and that butter you can actually smell the butter mm -hmm. i might be on to something here honey <laughs> i might be on to something don't couch your before <laughs> they your turkeys before they hatch <laughs> <laughs> and let's check on our bird Looks pretty dang good, huh? Should I let this, I wonder if I should, should I let this cool a little bit? So it's more like a glaze consistency or no? No, That's good. that bird's hot, honey. Look at okay. that, anti of that butter. <laughs> Be honest, you're impressed. I'm something. <laughs> I just want you to message the family group chat and be like, Amy's cooking the Thanksgiving turkey this year. 
they'll all respond not coming busy <laughs> absolutely not not a chance we you know what who's should... bringing the fried chicken there's a lot of comments that would come up we should post the comments <laughs> and i'll probably i'll probably baste it again one more time Ta -da! looks good Get kid in there look at that beautiful thing so it's about four hours later I did it. I made that and it looks incredible. It actually looks pretty good. It looks amazing. All right. It so looks amazing. <laughs> four hours. Four hours. I think it's fair for the audience to know the truth. It's very difficult to know when it is done, especially as a beginner. So we were probing it like some, like some areas you probe. Like if you don't get the thermometer deep enough, then it, you know, then it will show like 169. You're like, oh no, I'm overcooking it. But then like, I didn't have the thermometer deep enough. You push it a little bit deeper and then it's like 155. So it's, and we, we had to probe like multiple places. Why? So, because they're like different parts of the turkey cook at different times so different thicknesses different thicknesses dark know. meat can hold a higher temperature than um than your uh, white meat because of fat content yeah and the last thing you want to do is serve raw turkey on thanksgiving <laughs> so next we are going to let it rest sorry for the parents my wife said at the last second i don't i can't carve a turkey and i said well i'm not going to argue with about that you cook it i'll carve it so i've never yeah i've never carved a thanksgiving turkey either <laughs> So, so I'll teach you just like you learning, okay? So notice how it just comes apart. So you're gonna find your quote unquote seams. I say that looks perfectly cooked. <laughs> well, it's definitely cooked. Would know by now if it wasn't. Okay, Great smoke ring. Probably because I chose to do it 225. <laughs> <laughs> I've taken all the credit for this one. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to stay in my own house. So you're separating the leg from the thigh. There's a joint there. You just find the joint, run your knife right between the joint, and that's how you separate the leg from the thigh. Okay? Now the moment of truth. Yep. Contrary to popular belief, you don't want to take your breast off and cut it this way because that's cutting with the grain. So you want to find your knife blade, work around that base, come right in the middle, and we'll go a long ways with it. Set that off to the side. Ooh. Now let's let it rest for what, an hour? Yeah. We're losing light too. Mm -hmm. it does look like like some nice smoke. Let's see. Orange juice brine. Well, it's juicy. I can tell you that. You might not be able to see it, but I we know. can squeeze the juice out of it. We're losing light. All right, we'll go ahead and taste it. This okay. Is, this is all you, boo. One, two, three. <laughs> I get the first bite. Mmm. <laughs> I taste zero orange. Really? I taste, it's like a subtle, very, very subtle orange flavor. Well, yeah, the top. Mm. But the ironic thing is, God, look at that thing. You can't tell me. That's what happens when you cook your turkey to the right temp. Whether you, no matter how you brown it or don't, just cook it to the right temperature. Mmm. <sighs> now you get it? Let me see. It is so subtle. I mean, I don't think if you're looking for it, you'd even know it's there. Just definitely got it on the skin. Mm -hmm. It's good, kid. I did good. <laughs> I mean, honestly, yeah. <laughs> as much orange from the marmalade, the brine, the juice, I honestly thought that I would not enjoy it. Mm -hmm. It's not because I don't enjoy citrus, turkey, or uh, chicken. I just in my mind didn't think that it was going to work at all. 
it's amazing how subtle the orange mm. is. Oh man, I just got the first bite of skin. That skin is super good. With that zest, yeah. <laughs> but you With don't that... taste it in the meat. Not like a not, not like an apple brawn. Yeah. And we brawned it with pure orange juice. Yep. That's still it's still a dang good turkey. Could be the turkey, but this thing is so tender. Mm-hmm. Hey, it could be who cooked it. <laughs> can't can't tell who's on camera. We're nope. gonna we're we'll give it a go and then we'll do an alternate one. All right. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Yay, my friends. Cheers to your Thanksgiving. Mwah. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving, y'all.